Hey guys, what's up? So, just bought this thing on Amazon, and it's an R Geek uh, ITX, uh, well, like micro computer case. And I thought I'd do an unboxing of this thing. But, uh, yeah, I actually like watching videos like this on YouTube, so that's why I'm making this one. I can see what's inside the box. Alright, so this thing was 53 bucks on Amazon. And actually, I did get the one with the, uh, the top vent cover. So they actually sell one with and without a vent cover on, on the top right there. But uh, yeah, this is it. So this gave me my firewall. Uh, I'm actually building a firewall. And I'm doing a video about that, my uh, firewall uh, update. But for 53 bucks, this is definitely a, a, a very nice case. And all aluminum. And what's funny is that I was actually going to print out a case. But I was like, man, for 53 bucks, you know, all aluminum. And then, uh, yeah, I'm doing some stuff right now, but it's, you know, even if I actually had the, uh, I, I printed out a case, I'd still have to buy, like, the internal connectors and power switch and that kind of stuff, so, um, oh, that's the power button. All right, so let's get this going. So I'm going to be running a, uh, uh, ITX motherboard. This is a gigabit, you know, integrated, uh, dual Ethernet, wireless and uh, Core i3, so it's going to be a firewall, 8 gig of RAM, so, but yeah, if you're interested in what I'm doing with my, my actual build, the firewall build, uh, I'm doing another video about that, so, alright, so I'm going to get this open and uh, we'll see what's, okay, so, four screws to get it off, but you have to take the feet off first, so I'll do that, take the feet off, and then move these four screws, and that should be able to pop this off, and I should be able to get the motherboard on there. Alright, screws off, and let's pop this open here. So you have your front connector, your power switch, and a couple LEDs. You have a USB 3.0. Uh, you have a spot for your I.O. plate, which I'll put on right now. And that would be over here. Yeah. I.O. plate on there. Okay. Okay. I.O. plate on there. I guess what I'm wondering about these right here, these four screws. Like, I'm actually running an Intel board, so... I and mean, this would be like this. Maybe AMD is positioned like that. But, uh... Actually, I should probably see if uh, my fan should fit in there. I do actually have a low-profile fan, just in case. So, um... I'll try that, but I'm gonna get the four screws in there, and... I mean, this should be pretty basic. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, actually, I have, I have a 2.5 SSD drive in front of me, too, so that's, that's cool that it's... That's interesting. Um, yeah, there's no manual in this case, so to pop the front, top, the top cover off to get to the... It's definitely not a quick uh, case, I and mean, it's not like one of those, like a Dell server or something like that, we can pop it in and out really easily. The top, take the top cover off, you gotta take these two screws off. And... Okay, that should pop off like that, that's at least the way it looks. Okay, now it comes off like that. Alright. Come off, so I gotta put my SFP out in there. And... Come back. Alright. Alright, that was all backwards on this thing. So here we go. Yeah, like I said, there's no manual, so... There we go. Okay, the screws in. There we go. Alright, so I think we might be fine with the, with the standard heat sink here. If not, they have to pull the motherboard back out, but here's the uh, stock i3 heat sink. Guess what we need to do is figure out if it's going to clear this. SSD drive tray, I think it might. Let's see. It's not quite. I think as long as I keep the, the wires out of the way, I think we should have clearance here. That's cool. Wow. Alright, let me show you this thing right here. So I also bought this. It's made by the same company. It's made by RGeek. And uh, this should be the actual like little 24 pin ATX little power connector here. Okay. So it's interesting, it's just basically a, I'm to turn the ground through that. Um, it is basically just a, I 
the 410 APX connector. Not that there's enough room to go over that memory. Okay, that works. I think I'm going to put the ground strap down here somewhere. Put the, put the ground strap on that little screw right there. Turn it off if you can see it. Sorry. Right there. And I should just route out to the back of the case. The front. Is this one or that one? I don't get from this one. Right there. Okay. Okay. This is right there too. This is power for the uh, serial ATA drive and uh, CPU power connector. Okay. Right, so it gives you uh, okay, it gives you like the old style like floppy drive, not me, old CD-ROM, old hard drive connector, and the uh, old like floppy connector. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna zip tie all this stuff down so it's not hanging around everywhere, but. Alright, cool, I'll be back. Put the uh, SAC reconnector on there. And. No, see, not SAC 3, USB 3. There we go. Okay. Just trying to make sure nothing hits the, the CPU fan. Okay, let's see if it can stay unobstructed. So I'll leave the same thing to the side of here. I have to zip tie this down. Uh, there's a reason why I always keep my SATA cables. Uh, so that should give me... There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this USB 3.0 oh, cable is pretty thick. I already on the motherboard works already, so... Alright, so I'm not going to totally put it back together because I want to make sure it works in the... Uh, I have the LED is in the right direction first. Power LED. Okay. Okay. I don't know in the next couple seconds if this is going to work or not. GDI converter to VGA to my, to my test screen. Test monitor right here. Plug this into my power strip. This is my test bench. You guys you just sort of watch my video here. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I've got power here. Okay. Well. Okay, I'm guessing you're getting power. And the LED works. So it's wired correctly. And I'm getting video. Alright, there it is. That is the RC Geek ITX um, case. Take a look. Alright, awesome. Um, pretty tiny. It's all aluminum, so it feels very sturdy, you know. 33 bucks, so I think all in all, with the, with the power supply, the extra, like the 8, uh, 24 pin ATX power converter, and this thing, so probably about close to 100 bucks, probably about 90 bucks, 85, 90. I'll put links where you can get all this stuff, but cool. So if you want to see what I'm doing with this thing, watch my next video. It's uh, my firewall video. So I'm actually building the firewall here, so all right.